Hi everyone, it's Edo Del Monte of DraftKings taking you through my six-man lineup for this weekend's Bridgestone Invitational. We, be we begin relatively cheap with David Lingmurth at 7,600. The uh, Arkansas Razorback has made 14 out of 18 cuts this season, has done well here, a good indicator of form, and is hot off his 12th place at the US Open. So I really like him. He came six, or tied for six, here last season. Look at his driving accuracy as well. It's very important uh, at Firestone. We move on now to Soren Kjeldsen. 6,700. Is he cheap? Yes. Does he play well here? Yes. Is he Danish? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, tied for 12th here last season. Surprises all of the Masters, but has played so few tournaments uh, this season on the PGA Tour that in fact he hasn't got stats. He's not actually ranked in any of the statistical lists, but if you look at his proximity stats, he's managed around the 34-foot kind of area. Proximity is key here. This is an absolute demon of a track. We move on now to number three, a bit of an unexpected one, Kevin Kisner, 6,800. Is he on his way back? Well, I bloody well hope so. Tied for 49th at the US Open, tied for 10th at Dina DeLuca. If he busts, he busts, but if he were to hit a home run, I think he'd be absolutely brilliant. And uh, his driving accuracy is good, his proximity is good, and his birdie average is too. So when you think about it, he does fit the profile. Our number four is a certain Brant Snedeker. Forget the US Open. In fact, forget all of this stuff. Last year he was cut at the US Open and he then came here and tied for 33. He can probably do that again. He is ninth among the money leaders and uh, he's 37th in putting. The greens are small here, so if you can do that, I think you'll be all right. Let's move on now to our fifth guy, Monsieur Jason Day. He's the most expensive player on the list, and for good reason. One of the only players who wins multiple tournaments every year. For that alone, I think he's worth it. All the stats are there. Perform as well. And now, our final man, and this is going to be just a little bit of a shock. No, it isn't. Patrick Reed at 9,100. I absolutely love Paddy Reed. A top 10 machine. He will eventually... Uh, you know, start winning tournaments more regularly, I think this is the right place to start. Thanks very much, and I certainly hope you don't win any money, as, well, I want to win money for once. And uh, there you go, there's my lineup anyway. Enjoy, have a nice weekend.